With strength in numbers and organized grassroots efforts, the HBA has been able to keep its core focus on being a voice for the building industry's legislative issues. Several years ago, we, we decided that it would be better uh, rather than wait until laws and, and legislation and uh, regulations are passed. We decided that um, it would be in our better interest to get involved early on, become more proactive in the process, and uh, to put, have our input um, into some of these regulations that are being passed before they're passed. And so uh, we've uh, built a very good relationship with the building inspections department, the planning and zoning offices, the mayor's office, and uh, we uh, made a commitment to meet regularly with these people and, uh, and uh, get our input early on. And uh, so I think we've had a significant impact um, on uh, the local uh, government and as far as things that affect our industry. We're still doing the same thing that we did 50 years ago and that was to represent the industry, be the voice of the industry. Um, what's happened now is that we have an expanded staff and we've been able to really go back to what the members wanted 50 years ago and that was the legislative voice and the legislative strength. Another integral part of the HBA's mission is to provide education and increase the professionalism of its members. And a lot of us uh, builders, and I would say the majority of them, uh, nationally, started out working for someone at one point or another, and, and they know how to put up a product, and, and a good product. But the thing is, they don't understand the business end of it. And that... Uh, the uh, NAHB show is just, uh, it's just a great resource um, to learn how to run a business. HBA members have a chance to socialize and network with several events held throughout the year, including monthly membership meetings. These meetings are a chance to recognize and reward members for their volunteer efforts, educate members on industry issues, and it's the perfect setting for networking. Any time that I've ever asked a fellow HBA member about some advice, they have been more than willing to, uh, to let you know what they know. And I think that's the, probably the, one of the biggest values of HBA is the net networking part of it. The HBA golf outing is the most popular social event. With 250 participants, 60 sponsors, and lots of prizes, this always ends up to be a great day away from the office or the job site. The HBA is keeping the future of its industry in sight by promoting careers in construction through school curriculum, scholarships, job shadowing, career fairs, and strong relationships with local colleges and tech schools. The HBA continues to market the industry to the public through several events. The Parade of Homes, now in existence since 1961, has grown to be held twice a year, in the spring and the fall. On the Spring Parade, the HBA awards a Horizon Award to the builders in each of several price categories, judged by outside builders and local student chapter members. The Red River Valley Home and Garden Show has been taking place since 1962 and has been held at the Civic Center, West Acres Mall, and finally found its niche at the Fargo Dome. At the Fargo Dome, it features over 110,000 square feet of exhibits, including over 300 companies and drawing up to 15,000 consumers from the region. Started in 1989, the Fall Home Show is the HBA's newest event. It features just under 100 exhibitors and mirrors the Spring Home and Garden Show on a smaller scale. I think one of the best benefits of belonging to the HBA is the ability for you to market your company not only to the public, but also to fellow members. There's a wide array of, of areas that you can do that, whether the home show, the uh, home and garden show, the uh, fall home show, the parade of homes. And just the fact that you're a member of this association brings credibility to your company. From the Baker Nursery aspect, the home show provides a lot of just physical presence. It's hard for a, ho a home purchaser or a modeling homeowner that wants to look and see what's available to find 400 different businesses in any one location to go compare, meet, uh, you know, put a name to a face potentially, see the latest and the newest versus driving around to a lot of different stores trying to figure out where you're going and what would be appropriate. So um, it just is a presence that isn't equaled any other way. Uh, it's been highly successful and 
the home builders are proud sponsors of that event. Within the proud history of the Home Builders Association, the builders and related companies have worked hard to help govern their industry, fight for affordable housing, maintain professionalism, and earn the respect of the community. We have the, the you know, the year of the media and of our local leaders. If there's issues that come up, they know that they can call on us, and if there's issues, we know we can call on them. Uh, I think other subcontractors and contractors and all the associates that have come together have really been uh, made this association great. And I think the public as a whole, when they look at us, that we, when the HBA sponsors a home show or a parade of homes, they know the level of quality is going to be there. Uh, our home shows have continued to bring in uh, great numbers. We have been able to obtain great speakers because of the quality of the show that we do. Um, when people see HBA, I want them to think, and I think they do think of quality. That it's a, it's a good, solid, sound organization, and the members are equally sound in quality. I, I feel that this is one of the most respected organizations in town, and with the members we have, it's, it's just going to keep growing. I think one of the rewarding things for me about belonging to the association for the past almost 30 years has been that um, it has truly uh, fulfilled its mission in terms of, of uh, being a uh, viable force here in the community, uh, service to the community and service to the builders. It's like anything, the people before you set the foundation for what you do afterwards and they did a good job of getting this established and keeping it going and, and we hopefully have taken that to the next level and the builders that come after us should do the same thing. Every man owes a part of his time and money to the business or industry in which he is engaged. No man has the moral right to withhold his support from an organization that is striving to improve conditions within his sphere. We owe it to our industry to give back in whatever industry that we make a living in. And that always kind of stuck with me in, uh, I guess, if it wasn't for HBA, I just take a look at our business and I kind of wonder where we would have been if we wouldn't have been members. Uh, and, and like I said, it's, it's hard to put a value on that because I think that we have grown in ways that we probably never had even envisioned. I, My view of, of um, looking, trying to look to the future um, is that I think our association, uh, whereas we've been very, very needed in the past, um, we're going to be needed even more in, uh, in the future. Um, there are just so many th uh, things that are making uh, the production of housing more difficult that the association can help with. I think anyone that gets into the home builder, they be a carpenter or bricklayer or whatever it is, uh, it's a good business to be in. The mission of the Home Builders Association of Fargo-Moorhead is to provide quality services, benefits, and education to our members and the community. Striving to be a visible and active influence, the association represents the collective interests of the home building industry.